While a lot of people living at low income and poverty level usually don't see a doctor until they go to the emergency room. That's why Montana Tech wants its next generation of nurses to understand the challenges of those people living at that low income level. I'll give you 125 for all four. I think 200 at least. I've got to pay my mortgage. I only need 200. This is actually a Montana Tech nursing student playing the part of a single mother negotiating with a pawnbroker in a poverty simulation to show just how challenging life can be for the underprivileged. How do they live on a limited budget? How do they account for childcare over times like spring break when the school's closed? The students played various roles such as single mothers or an unemployed father. Uh, so I am homeless and I have a child that I need to figure out how to provide for. The students had to conduct business at several agencies while trying to live within a limited budget. The student at the pawn shop learned how hard it can be. She, she robbed me blind. She had no sympathy at all. Really? Yeah, she just like took my grandmother's wedding ring and like gave me a hundred dollars. The purpose of the simulation is to generate empathy for those who live in poverty. The biggest thing is that it's not a personal failure, that there are structural barriers to receiving services. We'll en encounter these types of situations, so I think being in their shoes and knowing what they're going through will kind of help us be better nurses. In this poverty simulation here at Montana Tech, these nursing students are negotiating various things such as supermarkets, social services, even a pawn shop. Now it looks like chaos, but these are obstacles that people living in poverty have to negotiate on a daily basis. There are a lot of low income people, especially in Butte, who are just barely making it and suffer from food insecurity and eviction. They're about ready to turn off the power in the summer, um, things like that. And so it's broadening the definition of what poverty looks like. And it's not just the people at the rescue mission. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.